this reindeer frame with the perfect holiday picture. Let me tell you what you'll need. First of all, you'll need wood pieces. I have craft sticks, wood teardrops, jumbo craft sticks, and a half of a wood craft egg. You'll also need wiggly eyes, one pom-pom, and you could use any color, but this will be Rudolph, so we'll use a red one. And then you'll use a glitter chenille stem and then acrylic paint in four colors. Now let's get started. The first thing we want to do is paint our wood pieces. And to make it easier to paint, I've laid down a piece of clear contact paper, and then that sticks, and it'll make it very easy for me to paint. I'm going to dip into my brown paint, and I'm going to just coat over the wood piece. Now you can see you can use different colors of brown. I'm going to coat all the way and get all the way on the sides as well. Then I'd let that dry. And acrylic paint dries very, very quickly. So it'll only take a few minutes. And then I'll turn that over and paint the other side. I want to paint two of the smaller craft sticks, two of the jumbo craft sticks, and I'll actually paint th three of these teardrops. I've got them all painted here. The next step is to do your embellishing. Now you can do that with a very fine liner brush or you can use a marker. And I'm going to use a marker. And I'm first I'm going to paint on or draw on the hooves. And I'm just making two triangles at the bottom and kind of rounding them, coming across and just filling that in. And then I'm going to paint an accent line. Let me move this out of the way. And go all the way around. Now this line doesn't have to be straight. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And that's one of my first hoofs. I'm going to go around the three teardrops the same way. And just come to a point. And then also on these craft sticks. And I'm just drawing a little bit of extra detail. Now, I'd also draw this around the head. Now, I have my half egg here that I've painted. And the first thing I did was glue my eyes on. And one of the tips is to put your glue onto the surface and then put your eyes and your nose onto this surface. It makes it a little bit easier. Then I'm going to just wipe this brush from the brown paint. And I'm going to use a technique called dry brushing. I'm just dipping into the red paint. I'm going to wipe off all of the excess paint until there's just very little on the brush. What I'm doing is making the cheeks here. And it's just a little bit more detail or a little embellishment. As you can see, I've already put the white dots on, but let me show you how you do those. You could use the tip of your liner brush or just use the end of the brush by dipping into the white paint, coming back, and putting just a little accent dot. And all that does is give a little highlight to the reindeer's face. Now it's time to make his antlers. I've taken a chenille stem and folded it in half, and I'm gonna come up just about an inch and just bend in and kind of make three fingers for his antlers. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and twist that together and I have one side of his antler. And as you can see, then I did the other side. Now I'm going to take a nice, thick, tacky glue and apply it to the back of his head. And I'm going to put kind of a nice little piece here so that there's enough glue. I'm going to take the chenille stem and stick it right on there. And that'll stick and hold really well because it's a nice, thick glue. Now our next step is to put our reindeer together. And I've already started here. I have the one hoof there. I'm going to put the second one across here and I've laid the other two, two craft sticks and I've attached his tail. So I'm going to put glue on each of these ends. And remember, this is a white craft glue, but it will dry clear when you're all done. So now there's the base and there's a four by four square in the center, which is where you can put your picture. Now I'm going to take his head. As you can see, I've added his ears behind. He's also got his um, antlers and his face. And I'm going to put glue on the back. Now, what I found is it's easy to put a little glue on this side, but also to put glue here. Because that's what's going to give him his personality by how you position his face. I'll put that down like that. Now you can see I had his eyes were just a little bit wet. I'm going to just slide that over and this glue will dry clear anyway so it'll be perfect when we're all done. Now let's look at our finished reindeer again. And then I'll be right back with another project. Two, one. 